Proxima Caesar is the new threat in the Planet of the Apes universe. In our previous videos, we explored in depth the origin of the virus, which left humanity in a critical situation. How the apes managed to take control of the planet, and the possibility of seeing the mutants return in this intriguing universe. Now the next Planet of the Apes movie introduces us to one of the most fearsome antagonists to date. An ape who has misinterpreted Caesar's teachings and longs to establish a new empire on the ashes of human civilization. Its impact on this world could be related to the end of the 2001 Planet of the Apes movie. In this video, we will be talking about the villain in the new Planet of the Apes franchise, Proximus Caesar and time travel. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Throughout the cinematic history of Planet of the Apes, we have witnessed a variety of villains, each with their own peculiar characteristics and intentions. We have seen everything from religious fundamentalists, who worship nuclear bombs, to ape scientists, who in their attempt to help humanity, end up causing more conflict. However, the villain of the upcoming film promises to stand out in a unique way, combining strength and intelligence in a way never seen before in the series. This new antagonist will not only possess cunning and strategy, but also physical strength, which will make him an even greater challenge for both apes and humans. The first thing we should know about this character is that the name Proximus Caesar comes from Latin. The word Proximus means next, and the word Caesar is linked to kingship. Proximus Caesar could mean the next king, or leader of the apes. This character is played by Kevin Durand, and he is not the typical villain who seeks revenge, because he has suffered or simply desires evil. This will be a villain with his own ideology and perspective of how the ape civilization should be. According to the synopsis of the movie, Proximus Caesar would be organizing a large group of apes to visit the places where humans used to live, in search of technology. Proximus Caesar's goal is to become not only the leader of the apes in his region, but also the new leader of the planet. He wants to use technology to rebuild the world of humans and take it all over. On the other hand, Cornelius, the main character of the movie, will try to stop him. In the last hours, several theories have been mentioned about this character. Some say that he is a descendant of Bad Ape, one of the most intelligent chimpanzees of Caesar's group. Unlike other primates we have seen in this series, Proximus Caesar is presented as a quite different villain. He is intelligent and sees himself as a messiah. We see him using human technology and weapons. But why does Proximus Caesar want to do this? The apes won the war. Humans are now a shadow of what they once were in the past. Now, in order for the apes to improve as a species, they must escape the forests and begin to create their own civilization in a more structured way. The apes of this universe are equally or more intelligent than humans. So living for so long in the jungle will lead many primates to imagine a more peaceful life, even with houses. Suffering comes with consciousness. A monkey that only knows the jungle would not mind living in it. But to be intelligent like humans, having to fight every day for their food and not having a good shelter would be something they would want to change. It is possible that Proximus Caesar would discover that humans lived in comfort, that they used tools and technologies to make their lives easier, and that they could take advantage of it. Proximus Caesar could be the first scientist of this group and wish good for his own. But as is often the case, power corrupts. Proximus Caesar will understand that the same weapons that can give security to his group are the same weapons that can subdue others, and that technology could be used for evil. I think Proximus Caesar will be the reason why the apes reject technology. However, there is a rather interesting theory. If indeed Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is not a prequel to the originals, it could still be connected to another one of the movies. I'm talking about the ending of Tim Burton's film. The Planet of the Apes released in 2001, where the protagonist Leo Davidson travels to the past and finds a planet controlled by apes. But it is a civilized planet that looks just like the human one. The only difference is that apes are the ones who inhabit this place. 
Here comes the crazy theory. If Proximus Caesar manages to acquire human technology, and manages to rebuild the old world, they could create a world similar to the human one, but dominated by them. This world could be similar to the one Leo Davidson encountered, where he was transported to the future from Proximus Caesar's timeline, but a timeline where he won and managed to acquire all the human technology. The Planet of the Apes universe has multiple timelines, and we cannot see the films as isolated stories, as they could begin to connect. The idea of multiverses is something that has gained momentum in recent years, especially in Marvel and DC superhero movies. Now think of a movie that uses this multiverse idea but with Planet of the Apes. It would be like seeing different versions of how apes and humans live and fight each other. In this movie, we could bring back actors like Matt Damon, who have been in previous Planet of the Apes movies. They would play an important role in the story, perhaps trying to change how the apes control the world. Each actor could play different versions of their character. But of course, something to keep in mind, is that the previous trilogy was accepted by a lot of new audiences, because the movies were no longer about time travel or subway mutants. The movie went back to its essence, so in the future, if we have the time travel theme again, we should focus it more on the history of apes and humans, and if at some point the idea of the multiverse is brought in, it should be a minor resource and not an excuse to lower the quality of the films. Now, back to the story of Proximus Caesar. This chimpanzee will not be the typical primate who wins everything by force. He is someone extremely intelligent, and as we could see in the trailer, he is capable of using human technology. This means that his level of intelligence is above average, and of course, in the synopsis, it says that he used Caesar's teachings and distorted them in his favor, which means he is a persuasive leader. He could be even more dangerous than other villains we've seen in this universe. I'm thinking about creating a series on this channel, about the Planet of the Apes universe. So if you have any questions about this universe, or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Oasis Geek.